How Expert! Top 10 Scuba Diving Tips How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit HowExpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Scuba Diving Tips. Number 10. Know Your Hand Signals there is no talking underwater, so divers communicate using a unique kind of sign language. The most common hand sign, and one we will all know, is touching your thumb to your pointer finger to form an O and holding up the other three fingers. This is the symbol for OK. Divers constantly ask each other if they are OK by holding up the symbol to each other. The sign for the answer to this question is also the sign for the question. To make sure everyone still has enough air, divers will often show you an open palm and tap it twice with two fingers. This is a question asking how much air you have. The answer is displaying the number on your fingers that you see on your gauge. For example, if you have 70 bar, you would hold up seven fingers. The symbol for 100 is to form your hands into a capital T. There are different hand gestures for each kind of sea creature, such as tapping a stiff hand perpendicular to your body on your forehead. This is the signal saying you see a shark. Number nine, spit in your mask. It sounds ridiculous and crazy, but your saliva is a surface acting agent that keeps your mask free from fog. Your mask is your visual gateway into seeing all the beauty underwater. It can be a hassle when it continuously fogs up and obstructs your view. If your mask fogs up underwater, you can always open the top of your mask just slightly to let in a little bit of water to clear the fog. Once the fog is clear, press down lightly on the top of your mask using your index fingers and open up the bottom using your thumbs. While you do this, exhale so the bubbles from your regulator will push out the water. Spitting in your mask before a dive and rubbing it around the inside surface will prevent the need to constantly swish water in your mask. The salt water can burn your eyes and having to clean your mask often will draw away from observing everything around you and can stress you out which will eat up your air. Some people choose to use shampoo, detergent, toothpaste, or specially made dive mask gel, but all of these put unwanted chemicals into the ocean. Saliva is free, not harmful to the ocean, and there's plenty of it. Number eight, make a safe ascent. At the end of the dive, because there is built up pressure in your lungs from the compression of the ocean, it's essential to take your time when rising to the surface. This alleviates the bubbles in your body slowly so as not to strain yourself and cause an accident. Failure to do this can result in your lungs exploding, which sounds extreme, but is entirely possible if proper procedures are not followed. It's also why you shouldn't fly on an airplane up to 24 hours after diving. Most divers decide to start rising to the surface when they themselves or their partner is at or just below 50 bar. The signal to go up is a simple thumbs up. To make a proper ascent, slowly climb towards the surface, taking your time. When your dive watch reads 5 meters, 15 feet, stop and hover in the water for 3 minutes. This is highly recommended to prevent decompression sickness that is caused by ascending too quickly. This temporary pause can be a good opportunity to practice your breathing, your buoyancy, or even making bubble rings. Just make sure to stay at 5 meters and stay close to your group. Number 7. Check your gear before jumping in the water. Finally, we're putting on our gear and getting ready to jump into the water. But to ensure we have a successful dive, we need to check our equipment before we put it on. Turn on the oxygen in your tank so it flows through your BCD, buoyancy control device. Breathe through your regulator and backup regulator out of the water to make sure you can breathe easily. Inflate your BCD just a little to make sure there are no unexpected holes that may leak. Make sure your BCD is fastened securely across your waist and chest. Your weight belt should be equally strapped securely across your hips. Your backup regulator clips into your left shoulder on your BCD. Your primary regulator is the only thing that should hang loosely in front of your right shoulder so you can easily access it. Look around your body, making note that nothing is hanging loose and everything is secure. Ask your dive buddy to look you over to double check you over. Number six, equalize. When you're diving down, the pressure from the water is felt in your ears. To release this pressure, a common practice is to squeeze your nose and exhale sharply to pop your ears. Some people can equalize without using their hands. As you descend deeper, you need to continuously equalize to release the more pressure that builds up at lower depths. 
you will hear a small squeak or pop like when you step off of an airplane. It does not harm your ears to equalize, but it could harm your ears if you don't. If you can't equalize, it may mean your ears are blocked. Sometimes this can be caused by a cold. If you experience trouble equalizing, don't dive any deeper and tell your dive buddy or dive guide as you may not be able to continue the dive if your ears won't pop. This is for your safety and comfort. Number 5. Plan your dive. Before every dive you do, your dive guide will draw you a topographical map to show you the layout of the land underwater. They will explain the types of terrain you are going over, whether it's sand, rocks, coral, or caves. They will also alert you of any dangers in the area and potential hazards, such as strong currents or steep slopes. Your dive guide will also let you know where you will be entering the water from, whether you jump off the back of a big boat, roll off the side of a smaller boat, or walk into the sea from the sand. Your dive guide will let you know what your maximum depth will be, the visibility, what the name of the dive site is, and what kind of creatures you're likely to see. Typically, they will also teach you the hand signals for the types of creatures you're likely to see. So when you're diving, watch your dive guide as they may spot an animal before you do and use their hands to show you. They will draw a path of travel to show you exactly where you'll be going. The purpose of showing you how it will look like down below before you see it is to show you the way so you're prepared and know what to expect. Remember, your dive guide is a professional who has dove this place many times before and they know the best route. In planning and preparing for a dive, make sure you have eaten a couple of hours beforehand, you are healthy and of able body and mind, and you have not recently consumed any stimulants or alcohol. Number 4. Watch your air gauge. When you turn on your air above water, hold your gauge with the glass facing the ground just in case the glass breaks from the immediate pressure. After the air is turned on, check your gauge to see how much air you have. Typically, a normal tank will contain about 200 bar to start with. The more air you consume, the less bar you will have in your tank. This is where staying relaxed comes in handy, because anxiety causes a person to consume air faster, and in your panic state, you can forget to check your gauge. Your dive guide or dive buddy will ask you occasionally underwater how much air you have. This tells them how long you can keep diving for and when you need to return to the surface. Usually, when a diver has about 50 bar, you and your buddy will start to head towards the surface and make a safety stop at 5 meters. A safe diver will come up to the surface with around 50 bar still left in their tank. This is a conservative amount to ensure that no one is running out of air underwater. Number 3. Stay close to your buddy slash dive guide. In scuba diving, the diver is in an environment not suitable for sustained human life, and the only way we're able to stay down there for extended periods is using this equipment, and with human-made technology, there is room for an error. Staying close to another person, your dive buddy or dive guide, is an insurance that if anything goes wrong, someone is right there to assist you with whatever you need. It's good to have a partner who you dive with regularly so you can understand each other's dive styles and you can build trust and healthy communication. If you run out of air, your dive buddy has a backup regulator for you to use so you can both breathe the air in your buddy's tank. The same applies if they run out of air. Your dive buddy watches your back just as you watch theirs. If anything goes wrong, you can assist each other and make sure both of you are safe. They help you check your equipment before you jump in the water to double check that everything is working properly and you're strapped in snug. They can spot potential dangers before you spot them and warn you. If you get separated from the rest of your group, you still have one other person by your side who can help you stay calm and locate everyone else or surface and find your boat. A buddy is also a great resource for finding cool creatures. With two pairs of eyes on the lookout, you can show each other what you find and find more. Number two. Remain calm. Scuba diving is a high-risk adventure sport and should be treated with humility. You are vulnerable and in an environment you are not used to, surrounded by animals not seen in everyday life. A powerful method to overcoming stress in the ocean is to visualize your dive and to visualize staying calm in stressful situations that might occur. Before you dive, make sure you are breathing evenly and have not consumed any alcohol or too much coffee, as these will speed up your heart rate. Meditating before a dive can help slow your heart rate, relax your mind and body, and help you have better focus underwater. When you are underwater, know your limits and don't do anything that makes you uncomfortable, such as diving too deep. When you remain calm during your dive, your breath is more even and you consume less air. 
If something starts to go wrong, stay level-headed and fix the problem effectively so nothing else goes wrong in the process. Remaining calm can also help your fellow divers because seeing you calm will help them mirror that state of being. Practicing staying calm in everyday life will help you stay calm while scuba diving. Number 1. Remember to breathe. The absolute most important thing to do when you're scuba diving is to continuously breathe in and out. It's essential to maintain that rhythm of breathing and stay calm to have a pleasurable dive and just in case something unpredictable happens. You have limited air inside of a tank and you want to use that air as efficiently as possible to have a long and peaceful dive. When starting out, counting while you breathe in and out can help you gain rhythm. Breathing evenly will keep you neutrally buoyant so you will glide through the water without sinking or rising towards the surface. Refraining from smoking or consuming alcohol will increase your lung capacity and make breathing deeply more enjoyable and more relaxing. Eating whole foods rich in vitamins and minerals will aid in your endurance and mood which can stabilize your breath and keep you calm. Meditation, yoga, and breathing exercises done on land can help you control your breathing. The longer and slower you can breathe in and out, the less air you'll consume, which means the longer you can stay below the waves and take everything in. Practice makes perfect, so the more experience you get under your belt, the easier and more natural and enjoyable it will become. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other topics that you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you, have an amazing day, and take care. How Expert publishes quick how to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.